Hello Japan and welcome to Evers Fly Workshop. Um, this time I am going to be tying a fly uh, by my mentor and uh, teacher of all time, Mr. Jon Sigurdsson. And this fly, we call it Olli Bugger, not Bully Bugger, but it's like a looks like a Bully Bugger. But there is a story with this fly which I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, later on in the video. So, um, uh, this is, a, as you see, a streamer pattern, pattern, and this is what it looked like, actually originally tied by Jon Sigurdsson himself. have some of them, and this fly is a mix of a woolly worm and a woolly bugger. And it is a really, really... Uh, Effective fly, especially for trout and arctic char. It looks like this. It has a pink and black tail. It has a grizzly feather around it. It uh, has silver, like quite dense uh, silver in the body and, and uh, either a black chenille or, or um, some black material. I'm using a sample fly nano silk 50 denier uh, in black for this fly. And uh, start to make our thread base on the hook shank. And I'm using an RX NS118 number 8, which is the uh, classic streamer from RX. And it's classic streamer hooks. So, what we will start to do is to uh, attach the eyes of the flies, fly. And uh, I'm using a beach chain eyes, simply just as old fashioned beach chain eyes, because uh, that's how the fly was originally tied by on. And the na name of the fly, Olli, Olli Bugger, not Woolly Bugger, is because a friend of Jon was fishing with him when they were fishing with this fly. His name is Olgir. Anderson, and I will drop you guys a link to Olgir's uh, work here in the video because Olgir work with, works with photography and uh, he's an excellent uh, excellent photographer, from my opinion. Takes great pictures and uh, has been doing tours and stuff, like photo tours, and uh, Olli is also just a great guy, great person. I know Olli a little bit and he's a... It's just like Jon, and it's a really good, really good uh, personality. So we start by attaching our eyes, by zigzagging them, and uh, yeah, here we got the uh, link to Olgir's webpage, or Olli's webpage. Um, after we attach the eyes, by zigzagging them, and then helicoptering them from below to uh, saw them in on the hook. We take a little bit of a sap cap just in case to uh, to make sure that uh, they're going to stick and be in place. Um, for the tail of the fly, we are using um, like short fibers from the marabou, so like a black marabou. And uh, Yon on his flies prefer to keep the tail not too long, at least not on this one, because uh, fish was nibbling at the uh, at the uh, tail of the fly, and if the tail was too long, it's not, it's not, it was not going to be hooked on the fly. So we will attach the marabou here. You can actually use kind of any anything, any like. A rooster feather for for this or, or whatever as long as it's like uh has motion in the water just like the marble so half of the tail is like this it is a black marble and the other half is like a magneta pink color color and this work on a work a little bit on the eyes here and then the other half of the of the body has to be pink. 
So I found a pink marble, and I'm using, as you see here, like those short fibers, not the long fibers. And uh, you take a few of them. And attach them to the hook. I have to prepare them with your fingers. You align them in the length, and then we will just uh, pan them down on the shank. Something like this. And I have some originally made flies by own, and I have, I don't know, 10, about uh, 10 Ollie Buggers like uh, this one and uh, this is like as i said very very successful fly when it comes to fishing here in iceland i mean it's there's no wonder it looks looks like a willy bugger and the, those pattern patterns are absolutely great so next step for the uh, body because we are Attach the tail of the fly that is ready. I'm using for the rib a um, an over, oval silver uh, from Semperfly, and the rib has to be like fairly dense. And you'll see that when we um, when I put it on, I pre cut it here some uh, oval silver already, and we'll work that on the hook. And then, after that, you should be using black chineo or some similar materials. Um, it just varied on what you own had. I'm using for this actually a um, Semperfly dry fly poly yarn because it's the kind of the right thickness for it and uh, and uh, just wrap that on. As you see, it kind of creates a right thickness. Uh, some would like to have it like thicker body, and they will just then use uh, chenille, which is obviously thicker than this material. And some people would like a thinner body, but this is about the about the body thickness that you own type of fly with. So next step is the palmering of the fly. So we are taking a uh, like a natural grizzly feather for that. And you see the original one by own. That is uh, quite like quite long fibers he used. I'm not going to use those fibers. They're not that long, but I'm going to tie in the tie in the feather here. with a few tight wraps around the eyes, zigzagging and crossing them, just to make sure everything is uh, tied down. And then we are going to wrap the feather backwards, and just make off this, uh, the rest of the feather stem. Then we are going to wrap the feather backwards, Going to wrap the feather backwards uh, clockwise, and we are going to wrap the silver, wrap it with our silver tinsel. The other direction, uh, clockwise. And you need to use hackle pliers for this. We get to get to the very end of it right here. And then we need to grab the feather with our uh, tinsel. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, but you have to grab it or lock it in like this. So 
something like this. And then you need to wiggle the silver tensile so we are not trapping any fibers beneath or as few fibers as possible of a feather. Then we can let go of the heckle pliers and uh, we have to wiggle this uh, through out here and you see how densely I put the um, put the silver and uh, that gives it like a, just like a texture and look of the body that Jon was uh, actually saying to me it matters. Actually, this one I'm holding from Jon is tight on an up eye hook, which is a salmon hook. But uh, he went many various and his own ways in fly tying and fly fishing. But the results were like he was catching usually the most of everybody. He's like a natural born angler. And uh, when we have the um, have the feather down, then we just build up like a little, little more thread base around the eyes, so it won't go anywhere. And you see this area here. This is kind of like naked. There's no thread here. So what we'll be doing is uh, going to move the uh, thread in the front there and build up like a little thread base there. There, th that way the eyes will not slide forward or anything. They are just like really stuck in there where they are supposed to be. And as you see, it's like it is pretty, um, pretty well done. So what we need to do next is to snip away, snip away the the uh, rest of this, uh, the tip of the uh, bristle feather, preferably without snipping away any other fibers, like so, and then we can run through the body just like, just to do this like a little check if there are some fibers trapped under the silver tensile, and just go under them and lift them up, move them and make them free. And I have a funny story on this fly which you may like to hear. Uh, when I got married to my ex-wife in 2005, uh, Jon himself, my friend Jon, showed up, up, showed up at the wedding party. It was not like a big party, it was like a 30, 40 people, but he showed up. He was like kind of drunk that, that particular day, but he showed up with a box full of this fly as a wedding gift to me. I still have those flies around. I keep them, of course, because you don't pass many, like in 2015, but it's like a funny memory <laughs> with the fly. Uh, besides that, of course, then this fly is an excellent fly, fishing with it, both for trout and arctic char and sea trout. It's going to catch, uh, catch you all of these uh, uh, species of fish. So for the final touch of the Olli Bugger, and uh, we'll be using a Solaris Bone Cure and we're gonna place that on the knot up and down and around the eyes and let it uh, drink a little bit into or soak a little bit into the uh, thread. The thread, thread will absorb some of this material and then we are going to bake it with our UV torch or the UV light. Uh, yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. That's very important. Uh, the uh, pattern of the fly, you are going to find the pattern of the fly in the video description down below this video. Um, there you're going to find information about how you can support the channel financially uh, through PayPal. And I accept PayPal any day, anytime. And we kind of need that support to keep keep us sort of going, because we are not on Patreon or with any monthly monthly subscriptions. So I think I guess that's all for now. I just want to say to you guys, thank for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.